So much like how Uncharted 3 is trying to outlive the shadow by the game that came before it, Nathan Drake, the lead main character, is trying to follow in the footsteps of his ancestor, Sir Francis Drake. But then at one point during the game we find out his name isn't even Nathan Drake, which means Sir Francis Drake probably isn't even his ancestor, which kind of flips up a lot of the lore and a lot of the stuff that was going for it, and that's, uh, that makes me really kind of upset and conflicted and the fuck, Naughty Dog? What was with that? Ever a dull moment, huh, Sully? <laughs> Why change now? Yalla! <laughs> So Uncharted 3, hello everyone and welcome to Soul Show, and today we take a look at the third installment within the Uncharted franchise. As always guys, if you liked Uncharted 3, I want you to give this video a thumbs up. However, if you're one of the people who disliked Uncharted 3, feel free to give this video a thumbs down and the like bar will show me your guys' reaction to the game. And as you guys may or may not know, I am going through my PS3 catalog and I've gone through a bunch of games and I've even gone through the first two Uncharted games. This is, these are all first time playthroughs. So if you want my reaction to those games, I will hopefully have annotations here or towards the end of the video that you can check out. Also another quick note, I'm going to be spoilery, if not just a spoiler light on the past games in the franchise, so just keep that in mind. I won't cover anything big though. Anyway, I will say right off the bat, I was so surprised how much I loved the first half of this game. There was this really elaborate chase scene. I love this origin story introduced with Soli. There was this beautiful burning house scene full of all of these action set pieces that really just felt like Uncharted. And towards the beginning of the game, we assembled this really great crew of all these amazing characters. I loved the first half of this game and the adventure that came with it. And I also really liked the main villain. She was so cold and menacing and she carried this really big presence with her and she had that history with Soli that I really liked. Uh, but the one thing is, I was getting a little bit confused by her motivations, especially towards the end of the game. I was just like, you're just kind of a forced villain, aren't you? And then she had her right hand henchman guy, Talbot, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, and he was just, uh, he was alright, he was serviceable, I guess. And uh, he apparently had like superpowers and could disappear and do some other weird stuff that was never really explained for some reason. And this game has its flaws, and I'll cover them, but I have a lot to say on the good aspects of this game. For instance, the hand-to-hand -hand combat in this game, it was so fresh, they really brought a new impact to it. A lot of the times I would just abandon the gunfights and just try and run up to people and punch them in the face just because I like the hand-to-hand -hand combat so much. And it's really satisfying when you just pull a guy's grenade thing and he just explodes. I love that. And some of the plot threads it introduced, like this idea that maybe Drake is getting a little bit uh, too obsessed with this fortune hunting bullshit. I really like that plot thread. It was completely valid. And Drake and Elena, they had a really realistic relationship status. That wasn't your usual video game. Oh, we got married and let's move on from there. It was actually unique and I liked their chemistry. All of those good little nuggets and all of those plot threads that were introduced seem to just kind of be forgotten towards the end of the game. For instance, I even remember like telling my friend, I was like, man, I really fucking love this one. And they were like, oh, do you like it more than Uncharted 2? I was like, yes, immediately, of course. Um, I, then I thought, well, unless, you know, if they manage to just, you know, completely fuck up the ending. And guess what? Mm, they might have completely fucked up the ending. The latter half of this game just the farther I went into it, the more rushed it felt, the more forced it felt, and I was really getting tired of the usual uncharted, you know, Drake nearly dying, that wears off after a while, and then the conclusion just felt not necessarily bitter, but just flat. A lot of those plot threads that I really liked that I was talking about, they seemed to just kind of be forgotten towards the end of the game. And it was also shorter than I expected. And not to mention, 
this game, the very, like, the very final shots, it was very subtle, which I'm okay with. Uncharted 2 was like that, I didn't love that either, but this game, e it ended even more subtly than the one before it. But that just doesn't fit when this is the same game where you're platforming around a flaming airplane right before it crashes. That is epic. That shouldn't be in the same game where it ends on a subtle joke. However, do I like Uncharted 2 Among Thieves more than I like Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception? Uh, no. I'm probably in the minority there, but I think they're really just on the same playing field. But as some of you guys may or may not know, I have a, a rating badge called the Hall of Fame badge, which I give out to, you know, some of my favorite games that are like in that 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 range. And I easily would have slapped this game with it, if only it would have kept up the momentum it had. Now, I don't want to harp on this game too much. I still think it's a great game. I think this entire, you know, trilogy, if you want to call it that, was really just one good round after the other. But considering that it's the conclusion to that trilogy, I, hell yeah, I expect the final note of this game to have a one-two punch that's really gonna knock me out. But I was just kind of standing there like, what happened? I thought it was a great game, but great games can still live in shadows and not fulfill what they were intended to. And I feel like Uncharted 3 fits that bill. And with all that being said, I give Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception, an 8 out of 10 and the sole badge of approval. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. As always, you can wait for the after credit scene for more reviews. You can check out my second channel for, you know, bonus videos. Or you can check out my Twitter or Patreon if you feel like supporting my dreams and aspirations and shit like that. Anyway, thanks so much for watching again. And with that, I leave you. I keep sleeping through the daytime Running on just empty Washing all my sheets